Stefan, can I tell you how how like two kindred souls we are? How we're two little peas <laughs> in a lonely little jar where there's a bunch of other peas that could be filling the space, but instead it's just me and you. I did oh. the same thing. I did mm-hmm. the exact same thing a mere, uh, I don't know, like 10 episodes ago. And it was a funny one too. And so there I sat doing, I'm not sure this is film lingo, we're movie people, but I ADR'd the whole damn thing best as possible. But like, You know, I have the energy tone when I'm talking to my good close friends. So I'm sitting in my cold, dark room, like trying to nail the timing of. And no, he's a pedophile. Uh (laughs) It's so hard. I feel your pain. I feel like us two peas are definitely of the same color Mm -hmm. because I just. In that lonely pod. I was, yeah, in that lonely pod, but feeling each other's warmth and feeling like there's another P there because I was trying to get into that mood and I was like, okay, here we go. Let's do a laugh. (laughs) <laughs> and on the positive, what you started to say there was the beginning of what could be a potential follow-up project with us. We could drop these other two, a Green Day potential lyric cover band sort of deal. It was sort of, you could if you could go back in the recording or whatever, but uh, two peas in a lonely pod, something, mm-hmm. something, something. So I, the rest will kind of fill in once we're on stage, but I really think, I think we have you've had the time really. of your life, I think, mm. is the yes. way that that song will go. I'm actually out on this project. Yeah. It sounds like a complete song, actually. That's really all you need. Two peas yeah. in a lonely pod. They don't record audio, but they just nod. Oh. And that's all I got so far. We'll workshop the rest of it. You also got it. the music video. You got the uh, whole you... thing done. Yeah. Shall I pull out my guitar? <gasps> wow. Shall I pull I out one of mine? Can you see Can you see my little guys on the wall? I can oh, run down the street if we're Look at us now. Where are the peas? There's a guitar center like three towns guys. over. I could go. No, Chris, you're you not a P anymore. It's, it's I mean, if we're bonding, the though, now. I'll head to guitar center real quick if we just want to put this bond no, on pause. No, no. Where are the peas right. now? You don't have a guitar. You're not Wait, in the pod. Wait, but we were the peas. You've been kicked out. Bad. I jumped all out of your jar, and now I'm in Jenny's jar. So now yeah, it's that's us what's two up. peas. Me and Stefan are here peeing in a in a jar or whatever you guys said before. Hey, Chris, you want to come over and pee in a jar with me? I can't even get out of my jar. I don't know how he jumped so quickly to Jenny's. My jar is huge. You were suffocating me. You know what? There were only two peas, but I felt like there were a, a goggle. I don't know what a group a of peas is called. A goggle of peas. No, that was it. A goggle a, of peas. Um, I think it's a murder. A murder of peas. Like like yeah. ravens. That sounds right. Have yes. we started yet? We, we, <laughs> we're recording. We can start. You know what? I'll just take some of the peas and then uh, put them mm. on the delicious dish, and which is this throw episode. them into the new nice. jar. How do That's you guys beautiful. prefer we get into it? Do you want a little cold open like we've been doing? And then I just jump into it. Do you guys want any ground rules? Do you guys want to know the structure of the pod? You, I'm sure we've all got listened to it by now. Oh, we've yeah. done some background research. I've been binging you, you for two we've weeks, listened. dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know what? I feel like we all just jumped into one goggle of peas now we're a goggle of peas here we're like a pea pie over here <laughs> pea we pie. are we are missing my favorite character because i personally i'm a fran fan and i'm here for fran my my sister P? your sister fran sister p i i want to be peeing in that jar if i want to so hear me why does she always have to one up everything around her like she, i was uh, about to bring up fran as well and yeah, she just sort of cut me off are you a fran, fran? fan yeah. Here I was about to drop a Fran Stan fan from this uh, man, but yeah. instead she jumped in with her Fran Stan, and now I'm stuck in this pod I still. Think, okay, you guys are just jumping in the in the Fran P jar, and it's kind of my P jar. She's more like a French dressing that you drizzle oh, over, yeah. the peas. over the peas. Oh, yeah, over the peas. That's a good pairing. You guys yeah. put French dressing all over peas? Oh, yeah, don't you? It's an Arizona yeah. thing for sure. It's an Arizona it's thing, a... Sam. You wouldn't yeah. get it. You <laughs> wouldn't get it in your little Vermont state, in your little yeah. stupid state. Hey, Ugh. hey, uh, literally 20 minutes ago, new tatty. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, Sam. What? No one cares, Sam. Is that a smokestack? Stefan, Stefan, if you don't mind, I would like to do a quick intervention on your podcast, if possible. I would like to also initiate an intervention. Okay. So let's think just in terms of ratios here, right? Yes. Sam, could you share with the crew? I don't want to answer all your questions for you. How many years do you have on this planet so far? 20, 20, 22, almost 20, 20, 20. 22. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's 22. And do you have any years on other planets? That's a good question. That's a personal thing. We'll, we'll discuss it later. Okay. And how many tattoos do you have for those 22 years? 
You don't need to count them on your body. You know. Yeah, don't feel yourself. He's like, oh, well, I have Six. them all over. They're just so nope, cool. Seven. seven. I have seven now. I thought oh. you were seven. having a seizure for a second when you looked at. <laughs> I was actually doing the hokey pokey, actually. Yeah. Just, okay. Sometimes like, like, Macarena. Yeah. Okay. If you did have a hokey pokey seizure right now, I still wouldn't go any easier on you because I yeah, fear. Yeah, no, you still deserve it. I fear that our that our circle is going to have to grow a bit smaller if you keep mm -hmm. up this reckless behavior. What's wrong with the tattoos? Stefan. Your stupid tribal tattoo. What tribe are you in, right? Sam? Do they have tribes in Vermont? Yeah, Sam. Um, tribal Vermont tattoos? Tribe. Hey, you know what? I, I just have to give respect to tats because I have zero tats. And you know what? I have many years on this earth and I have not been able to commit to a single one because I feel like I would just think it's dumb the day after and try and get rid of it. What do you think, Sam? You're going to hate them? Probably. Uh, no, I adore each and every now? one of my no. tattoos. Shut Hopefully hey, it gets better, you and then you'll regret them. Can you let me them. defend myself? Can you let me sure. defend my, my tats? Sure. Wait, 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 wait. Court is in session here at a comedy advice podcast where we give advice yep. with a little bit of comedy. I'm Stefan, your host and your judge. And joining me today, Ooh. the plaintiff. So, well, I don't want to introduce all you guys like that because I don't know how the court system works. But we've got the Better Off Better podcast with Chris, Jenny, and Sam. Beautiful. <laughs> Hi. I'm Sam. Ooh. Sorry, guys. That was my sister. She's always yelping. She sits under my desk when we record. <laughs> Not in a sexual way. Let's cut that part. No, we're keeping it in. And I, we're going to have nicknames for all of you. I feel like Sam is Tattoo Tim. Chris is uh, mm -hmm. Earbud Earl. And then Jenny is Two Monitor Tina. Hey, oi, yeah. So, That's what's yeah. up. I like it. Yes. Uh, I was thinking well, Drunk Debbie, but I that works as well. <laughs> oh, yes. Wino Whipple, I think might be a oh, Wino That would be good. I like that. Wino Whipple. It's a double entendre because she's whiny, too. <laughs> and she has an alcohol problem. I, I've got the whiny voice. I'm shrill, and I drink a lot of alcohol. So let's go. I'm into it. Wait, are you drinking alcohol right now? Why no Whipple? Dub dub? Um, I would like to plead the fifth on that question. Stefan, take a sip of her drink and tell us, tell the crowd. Yeah, please. here. Come on. Take a little sipple. Take a sipple uh, of the Whipple. I don't whipple. know how to do it. All I know no, is- No, no. Don't take a sipple of the Whipple. Take oh, a no. sipple of the Whipple. <laughs> I'll get very Once sickle. you go Whipple, you never go nipple. Oh, no. I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite ill. Oh, God. I'm sinking under the- Okay. <laughs> well- we were just talking about tattoos and the seven tattoos that Sam has, and yes. some of the, are they tribal tattoos for real or is no, that just? No, I don't. I think that's so <laughs> fucked up that he just called it a tribal tattoo. Stefan, when we're not recording, he puts he puts like a headpiece on. He paints okay. his entire face, um, also to match his tribal tattoos. And I'm not going to sing the song because. It's it's wrong. It's wrong in 2021, but Fair. there's a song Guys, he sings too. Let me let me defend my tattoos, please. For sure. Each and every one of these tattoos has a, uh, a significant meaning to me. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Jenny. Oh, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I just, could you just real quick just eat a bag of dicks, maybe? Just real quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got one uh, in the closet I could go grab. I've got some extra, actually. Went to mm -hmm. Costco, got them in bulk. So we I've got share. like 48 Kirkland signature Okay, dicks. yeah. Cochlin signature? Mm. <laughs> Apologies. Cockless so, I, I, as you were saying, Sam, and I'm going to give you 30 seconds to yep. to make your case. Thank um, you for giving him a time cut off. Each one of them has a very specific like connection to me, and even if I grow <sighs> up and I like them less, it's still a part a connection to a part of my life where I did want that tattoo, and I think that I will grow. And I even I think they're all like individualistic enough that like I don't see many of a lot of the tattoos on many people. They're not like a lot of. Guy tattoos are just like, oh, it's a pine forest. Oh, there's a fucking watch. Oh, I have a lion on my shoulder. I think that yeah, these are so all kind of weird enough that like I that they feel specific to me. And also, mm -hmm. it's my body, and I'm um, just for you virgin body, skins. No, your body, my me. choice, Sam. Enough of that bullshit, okay? <laughs> your body, our choice. We hate your tattoos. We hate you. We've ordered you, you really a laser appointment tattoos? for Thursday. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Court is adjourned. <laughs> Looks like Sam is guilty for having shitty tattoos. Got okay. him, judge. And then I walk up and give the judge the judge daps. Oh, okay, can you can I try and see what they are? Let okay, yeah. show me that okay, one. So a Vermont boomerang. Could you take all your clothes off? That would be easier. For us. A Vermont boomerang, yeah. Okay. No. Uh, this is uh the Sokka boomerang from Last Airbender. Oh, okay, okay, never saw it, but I have heard of it. Yes, a movie oh, by M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> okay, he loves it. Well, Sokka didn't have a boomerang in the movie because. 
he's bad at uh, adaptation so well all of his tattoos are actually related to m night Shyamalan movies do the do mm-hmm. the one from the visit that tattoo is my favorite <laughs> yeah the old lady <laughs> that's in that's the, on my back in the oven book book uh, like book series i really like uh different book series i really like <laughs> um, am i right <laughs> octopuses and octopus because when I was 10 I had octopus pussy. climb onto my arm he loves tentacle porn and like attached okay. to my tentacle arm porn so I thought pussy. that was cool and then this is um this is one that I'm getting matching with my little sister his sister's seven for reference it's very yeah. different in Vermont Vermont yeah. the tattoo age is is eight is that instead of 18 it's, yeah tattoos exactly. and incest are their two big things so he's in on those both are big them. import exports <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, that's uh, not too different from Arizona. So. I'm so unbelievably wow. offended by these two right now. Uh, like, <laughs> could you kick them off? They're so mean. Jenny literally she's designed a new that. tattoo for me. <laughs> Jenny just literally designed a new tattoo for me. Now she's acting like tattoos are the stupidest <laughs> shit in the world. That is oh. the deepest level of sabotage I've ever heard. You designed yeah. a tattoo and you're like, he's going to fucking hate this. This is going to yeah. be so stupid. It's just a huge dick. It's pretty awesome. It's I thought it was track. a rocket. Bro, it's designed what? after mine. Like, just because it leans to the left doesn't mean it's not working <laughs> properly. All right. It's like 90 degrees. It's, it's designed to find the gaspot faster. Uh-huh. Can we move on from my tattoos? I'm feeling very He's self-conscious. He's swimming for the gaspot. Let's, you know, let's let's move on from your tattoos and let's talk a little bit about you guys uh, beyond the skin oh. and surface level. Let's talk okay. a little bit about the audio experience which you guys present, which is Better Off Better, a comedy Ooh. competition self-betterment podcast why don't you get who i'm gonna choose sam you've been talking for a little while and i, I have the tattoo talk <laughs> so i'm gonna move on to chris oh. and uh, chris why don't you tell us a little bit about the podcast is he also go timed go just give me if you could do 22 minutes on the clock and i should be about <laughs> to the second half by then <laughs> we have fun here guys We're, sam, okay. sam got uh, an extra seven ooh. seconds for all of his tattoos so you get 23 seconds okay <gasps> Better off, better. That's our uh, comedy advice. Nope, this is a comedy advice <laughs> wow, podcast. Really okay, good. all right. <laughs> wasting time. Okay. Sorry, I'm so nervous because I want to be you. I look in the mirror and I see Stefan, and, and I, you I am, and I will, and I try, and I shill. Oh no, I said it. <laughs> oh man. Go back to like six minutes ago. Anyway, <laughs> better off, better is our cutthroat competitive journey to self betterment. We every week compete against each other to out self better each other. Isn't that healthy sounding? Each episode is split up into two parts where we we basically come at you every episode with a thing that's supposed to, in theory, make us better people. And part one, we kind of go over what that thing's going to be. Then we all split for a week. Then we return after the week. And the second half of the episode is part two, where we come back with the juicy details from our journey. And it gets cutthroat. It gets competitive. Somebody always wins. Somebody always loses at self-bettering ourselves. It's normally Chris. Oh, Spoiler. It's normally Chris that loses and me that wins, wins because uh, you could say we're getting healthy in the least healthy way possible. Jenny, that's really good. You should use that. <laughs> Thanks. I just right off the cuff. So the that first really portion nice. of this episode has been all scripted. Now I guess we should go off book, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I guess so. So okay. and you guys have had some amazing <laughs> episodes with some amazing challenges you guys have done. I was oh. fortunate and lucky enough to be your first guest, which was really cool. Mm-hmm. And we did milk facials, which I didn't quite pay attention to the instructions and I put really milk powder. It, on. <laughs> Listen, yes, some so. would say you out outperformed the recommendations. I some things so. are built to be beaten. That's what I say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really went above and beyond. Yeah. I mean, I, I really sucked the utter dry with my ambition. And I feel you like did. I really tried to go above and beyond. And so I was like, you know what? 15 minutes? Why not two hours? Let's yeah. do it. I gave up immediately after that. But I feel like I really put in 200% for 1% of the time. You almost yeah. applied the 80-20 principle. So it's mm-hmm. like you you sort of read the back of a you know self-betterment book or like a book on mastering productivity, but you didn't quite buy it. Mm-hmm. That's right. I was like, Pareto? No way. I'm going to go yeah. Steph Edo and make my own principles <laughs> because yeah, why not? Good. I'm my own school. So I'll make my own principles yeah. and Steph. Very nice. That's why we needed uh, you in our life, quite frankly. And you know what? I couldn't have met a merrier bunch of uh, sarcasm- <laughs> Filled to the brim, folks, from Stop. Boston. You guys are a, a treat, a real treat to listen to. Yes, jolly in your own way, in the way that yeah. um, <laughs> you make it sound like you guys are not friends with each other and hate each other. Make yes. it great. Sound make like, it sound oh, yeah. like I hate them so much. We're in it for and the money, obviously. We're getting fat stacks off of it. So so many stacks. <laughs> See that jar of quarters on the edge of Chris's frame? That's my <laughs> that's my poor friends. He comes here sometimes to put his jar of pennies here. <laughs> they're they're, they're getting Chris's setup. The earbuds are for the taking. The AirPods. Mm-hmm. 
They're actually uh, China built uh, ear pods with an E mm -hmm. and they were $7. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah exactly. A bunch of R's and a, a zero <laughs> instead of an O. Amazing. And so what caused you guys to want to start this podcast? Have you guys always been competitive and always wanted to just be better than each other? We're all very competitive people. I'm a little better at being competitive than they are. I think um, I'm actually, no, I'm pretty sure I'm the most competitive one. Uh -huh. No me, no me. <laughs> it's funny, no that's good. Me. We do shticks such as this uh, on occasion, <laughs> sort of behind closed doors, in front of closed doors. What we're doing right here is actually, let me give you a little lesson in comedy. Why do you sound like you're like on a teleprompter right now? Yeah. <laughs> Just be chill, <laughs> no, no, no. bro. Chris, like Chris met with me before. Right we actually, we had a rehearsal and Chris was like, okay, <laughs> these are going to be the questions. These are my talking points. Can we run over yeah. them really quickly? And um, I'm actually not recording his audio or going to use it. So he's going to have to do it again while he's okay, on the Okay, yeah. So. But we'll the, the piece good. in the pot. Chris, you don't. Well, go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you, but no, you know what? I'll listen, let you finish in just a second. Him. We're built to be interrupted. I think genetically, mm -hmm. that just that's the price we paid with the with the genes we strove within. Oh, that's Shit. the Levi slogan. I you would have you. benefited from that. You would have benefited from an interrupting there. Stefan yes ands me. Sam mm -hmm. and Jenny go. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, you know, the groan is sometimes necessary, but Arizona, we are a yes and type of a group mm -hmm. here. So My that's nice. we are the yes and state. So that, that's like just it. in our blood. Thus what? the incest. Yes, and it's not great. Yes, I need and to get a cousin. out of here. Yes, and an aunt. Yes, and my sister. Wanted to say, I uh, I also saw some of your guys' works on Cinemonic.com, also ChrisTDaniels.com, which has, is just if a jar of peas fell and the peas became awards for festivals, I feel like that would be the Chris K. Daniels site because wow. it's just olive branches just encapsulating little festival awards and you're just such a nice garnish to such beautiful videos. You guys are incredible. <laughs> and then I was like, no, these guys can't be 22 years old. They look like they just came out of a Disney movie, but <laughs> they, they have to be older based off of the stuff that they've been doing. Like but you guys are babies. so young and I'm sitting on my porch in a rocking chair, smoking <laughs> a cigar, thinking about the times that could have been at my old ass 32 years and just admiring you guys. Yeah, you're about wow. to die. I'm vulnerable. I mean, I, if I got COVID, I might be in the hospital. I'm in the yeah. vulnerable section. Well, like, here's the yeah. good thing though. You're, you're definitely getting the vaccine like like next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the first priority before first responders. It's 32 yeah, and nice. up because, mm -hmm. I mean, if not, I will perish from the video. Yeah. Yeah, podcasters. So. Podcasters. Yeah. We're, we're really high mm -hmm. up on the list when it comes essential. to the vaccine. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, essential. Exactly. And not to say sort of how the sausage is made, but it was a little awkward at the beginning when your wife had to wheel you in on your rolling ro rocking chair yeah. because the years that, have gotten the better of you. And empty that, the that little bedpan. It was sad. You that was weird. That was a little weird for to us. Join. To join the Zoom call, uh, the bedpan, yeah. Yeah. I'm was, actually selling those sad. as merch, a comedy advice podcast, oh. bedpans. Ooh. Yes. And uh, on the inside, it says, like it. you're getting pissed off, pee on this. And so you can just wow. stream, live streaming wherever you want. Yep. Nice. Just Very nice. Vitamin P. Oh my yeah. God. It's like, you're just this magical clouded figure that fell from the heavens. That's what I tell uh, <laughs> my my extended family when I bring little photos of Stefan <laughs> to show you off to my uh, my second and third cousins. Which is often. Yeah, I hope all you're... the time. I have little wallet photos. Oh man, you know what? I can send you some new ones because I am going to get a haircut. Did you say some soon. nude ones or some new ones? Both actually, because I'm going to get a haircut. Okay. So I really want to showcase it with my naked body. Just send mm -hmm. me the poses that you'd prefer and then I can I will. do that. I'll draw them um, out for you. Can but I request let me say, like a, one of these, like a spread? Could you describe oh, that for God. the listeners? Okay. I was just referencing like a like a like a little spread V of a ah, butthole. Yes, letters, very useful. Um, I would like to say, Stefan, your words are the kindest right. of all words, and the fact that you did a little background check on us means a lot. Could potentially be dangerous depending on how rounded back you checked. <laughs> Shout out to my past, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But seriously, you're such a lovely person and you are the the dream first guest we could have asked for. We were so nervous to have anybody on the show and how quickly we were like, oh, one of us. Yeah. Oh, one of man. Us. Yes. One of when, us. When we started talking to each other and we were talking about it and I saw your clips and I was just like, oh man, I feel like these could be 
my people. So I almost got a tribal tattoo of you guys. Okay. We, that been good. we could go <laughs> matching. And you know what I'd say to that? Really good idea. I love that. I love tattoos now. I'm all the way in. I, I love them. Oh, you do? I just got this new one. <laughs> but I, I wanted to say, I also saw digging way deep into the past of Chris K. Daniels' interview <laughs> with a Scientologist. Oh my God, you found Hateful World. A hateful World, shout out. But hateful World, I, I'm now a subscriber of Hateful World. So I hope yeah. uh, I hope some new content comes out. But... Yeah, it's right around the corner. What's it been, a year and three-fourths? Let me just say thank you for calling him out on that because I have been begging to go back to making those. I love those. Those are my favorite things to make. So Chris, come on, let's hop back on the ball. Ouch, you guys, this whip hurts that you keep sh- sh- rooting at me. Wow. Yes, that's that's the. Wait, is that the word shrewding? Yes. yes. Did Shrewd. you need a dictionary? I can send you one. Yeah. I wrote in, it uh, <laughs> in Eric. <laughs> I I thought it was Dwight K. Shrewding, but it in Arizona we use whip. Ah, like whip whip nay nay. Whip 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 exactly. Like, like cool. Right. Whip. What is a whip? Whip. We actually whip it. <laughs> Me? Ah. You whipple it? Oh, true. I whip, Last yes, name. We whipple. Whipple. Very it nice, makes Jenny. no whipple, whipple is good. actually when you when you throw a pebble in the water and it makes whipples. Oh, okay, <laughs> I like it. Very yeah, nice. that's me. I'm kind of a pebble in water myself. Well, Stefan, I did. She's I did drowning. a brief. I did a brief dive on your past too, and let me tell you, you will get the justice you deserve for those crimes. Yeah. And we don't have to go into it right because this is a comedy podcast. But let it's me really say, not okay, what you did to her. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, Please. wait, wait, no. <laughs> now is not the time to whip into me, guys, okay? I feel like you guys are guests. You need to sit down. When I yeah. ask if you want food, you say yes or no, but you don't get up and touch the things, okay? And okay. when we jump, it's okay. And when we jump, it's after you say the height that we jump. I yes. think that's exactly. the phrase. I say six foot two, and then you guys jump. I don't know if you're okay. going to make it there. Oh, God. However, you I'll the make wrong it there. height there. I'm very <laughs> You picked the wrong right. height there. Chris, how tall are you? <laughs> Oh, with six the hair three. like six three, it's more like six three. We are the same height, you and I. Six three. I say it's I'm a six two height. and a half. With the hair, I think I could do a six three, six three and a half. You're saying wow. we could kiss without any flexing of the other body parts. That we wouldn't have to place. whip any part of us. Yes, go ahead. Mm-hmm. It's really awkward when me and Chris kiss because he he has to like literally like. He lifts him up. I'm, I'm four foot. I'm four foot. You can't. Tell. It's a little really like tall. lifting. Lifting my little son up for like a nighttime, mm-hmm. he but reaches it's sexual. Up. Yeah, but there's but there's tongue. Sam reaches oh. his little arms up. So it gets a little confusing upsies. when me and Sam are sensual. But so yeah. you gotta do what you gotta instead do. of leaning down to kiss Sam, you grab him up like a yeah. ice skater couple, and then yeah, like a small him. child, if you will. Sometimes, sometimes he gives me a few tossies because he knows I like it when he makes mm-hmm. me airplane. But he you loves know. he loves airplane. Want, he loves airplane. I want to rewind really quickly and and yes. have Jenny redo how she d- squeezes a small child. Yes, please, Jenny, go ahead. How yeah, did you please do that? go ahead. I wasn't Please. saying that I do it to the child. I was saying the <laughs> child was doing it. Okay? okay I'm be- not. Come on. <laughs> we got her. Hey, Chris Hansen, hey. get in here. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Can we reset? You reset? Know, the now child, we can unveal like, the true podcast, you know? which is to catch a predator. And we're after you, Jenny Whipple. They reach up to be to lift, to be lifties. Uh, I'm not. Okay. I'm not, I'm right. not creepy. Well, I only do it to the male ones. You know what? I I feel like this is the perfect time to get into the advice and go into it. And I think it is a perfect time. If there's one thing I was thinking, it's how can we get this group giving some advice? (laughs) (laughs) That's I mean, obviously we're all qualified. It's really it's what we're meant for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, man, God called us to do this. So we're going to follow him and answer some questions. But before we get into that, we're going to start with some motivational and inspirational quotes. Before I provide the two that I have today, I like to ask my guests usually if they have any inspirational quotes that help get them through their dark days, like when their friends shit on them for getting a new tattoo or blame them for being an alcoholic or just Ah. a... uh, Hey... No flaws with you, Chris. I think Chris is pretty great. That's exactly oh, right. You want Thank you want you. some flaws about Chris? I got nope, let's just move yet. right along. We can just or swim right need... along because he's exactly right. There's none. Who should who oh. shall go first, Stefan? Command us. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I command Jenny, since you didn't get the floor. I'm a very inspirational person. I think many people 
pull inspiration from me in general. They don't. They don't do that. Let me hit you with one of my many classic quotes that I say all the time. She's struggling. Which is, of Did course, stalling? my favorite quote. Yeah, she doesn't have which anything. Which is that... There's a chance she doesn't gotta, even know what quote means. You know, so, you just... You gotta... You gotta okay. have a good time and keep it to your damn self. That's my quote. Who says that? Who said that? Uh, Stalin, my, right? Old uh, Testament? Yes, yes. Job. Moses. Mo yes. Moses. Moses. I think verbatim it was, yeah, yes. you know, you gotta, you know, have a good yeah. time. Moses. And keep it That's to yourself. Quote. And keep it to yourself. And the keep second it to part yourself. is the most important. As he showed the Ten Commandments to him. And he went like this. He was trying to get lifted up. So he was doing he was the, like, the grabby hands. Guys, uh, we have Ten Commandments. You got to squeeze them. <laughs> ten of them. And, uh, but keep it to yourself. Keep, keep them it to, to yourself. yourself. I can't believe how motivated I am now from that. It's very quote. inspirational. Thank you so much, Jenny Whipple. Chris K. Daniels, what have you got? Chris K. Daniels enters with his quote. Let me walk up to the stage real quick. Could you add some really big footsteps in? Not fat, but powerful. Like Chris Guy Daniels walks up to the screen. I'm trying to do like a like a Sam Elliott sort of deal. Like the dude. Oh. We're we're talking about the dude here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're talking okay. about the Chris Guy Daniels here. Ah. He strolls in. Hey everybody, it's Owen Wilson. Chris Guy Ooh, Daniels. very nice. He has his dog. His name's Marley. That's pretty good. Something. Marley, That's pretty good. Yeah, once oh. you get the hair this long, it just starts to kind of It just come comes. Out. Yeah, yeah. And once you get enough bar fights and get your nose broken enough times, you just start to <laughs> talk like this. Wow. Have you had your nose broken? Oh, wow. How many just... times? Mine's been broken three times. Oh, no, no, no. I'm I'm a winner. I don't oh. get my nose broken. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn straight. Sock it to him. Yeah. Get another tattoo for that burn. But then also get some burn ointment. <laughs> I got really excited. Get a little okay. nose tattoo, you loser. You loser. I, I will. You know what? Connective tissue for me and old Sammy here. I had one of the most embarrassing injuries in Vermont at an amusement oh, park. Wow. I was about four or five years old. I was Great on a roller coaster blood. with my ma, maybe, perhaps, and I really had to pee. So what did I do? Wait until the roller coaster was done? Nope. I jumped off the roller coaster face first Ye into the concrete. And I, I softened the blow with my chin. So my That's chin a good way to skidded it. across. And I don't, I think I knocked off a part of it. Because when I shave, my chin, it's it's a little lower here than it is here. That was wow. all in Vermont. I, I got a tattoo on the, on the back of my chin to, to show it too. Very so, nice. It's not even facial nice. hair that he has on his face. That's a really crazy scar that's textured. Yeah, yeah <laughs> mine are. going to say yeah. tattoo, my, but yeah. scar. More apps. So unfortunately, uh, Chris K. Daniels saw the room that it was a really big auditorium and in it was only Sam Elliott and Owen Wilson, so he went home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no quote. That's a lie. He's just joshing around over here because I do have a quote I prepared. Allow me to read it for wow, the group. You prepared? I went off the cuff, my dude. Oh, we couldn't wow, tell, Jenny. We couldn't that tell. was totally <laughs> off. Yeah. No, I'm not a good shot, but I shoot often. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. I, I am so sorry for what you're gonna have to deal with <laughs> with my uh, with my video. I'm so is, sorry. Is this, this is the digital so burden bad. that you bared, Chris K. Daniels? It is. It's, it's much crazy. more than digital, my friend. It's an emotional it burden, a physical burden, a digital burden. I'm a oh, burden all sometimes, around. Sometimes, yeah. There's there's other like sub subsets. One of, of the most Did rare and exotic burden burdens yet? that yes. I've ever seen. I really hope I stopped it and didn't just snooze it because we're gonna be in for a rough ride if I did that. Uh, I hope so, I so much apologize for that. You're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> we clearly oh, don't accept I, it. I so much Ugh. don't forgive you. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I do. Okay. I forgive you. That was great. <laughs> I, I appreciate you being mindful. Not mindful enough to actually turn off the alarm, but yeah. you know, the whip is back on the table. It's better, to, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission, type of thing. That's my quote. I changed my quote. Bill Cosby. That. That's oh, my quote. Right. I'm feeling half stimmed, and I feel like Sam can get us all the way there with his inspirational oh, quote. Mine's more like sad honestly oh god well you're kind of a sad guy it's a quote from a movie lovers on the bridge it's it's french we watched it we actually all had to watch it in film school but i really like uh. this one it's try <sighs> not to hate yourself so much and i like that i like that quote also teddy roosevelt 
<laughs> also Bill Cosby. May have been Owen Wilson too after all the nose. Can we do a different but... segment that's just favorite Bill Cosby quotes and then favorite Owen Wilson quotes? Let's just make it a quote if show. It's a pudding under you know the what? Camille. I oh, think God. we might have a segment called Confucius or Bill Cosby and then <laughs> Very nice. decide who it was. But all right, well, we've actually got a quote that's by neither. This quote that I have today to inspire us to the brim is oh, from Spyrobot. It's not a person, it's a robot that uses AI to take some of the wisest words known to man or woo man, and then it just smooches together for a beautiful nice. quote. It's almost Amazing. like a very tall man lifting a short man and then bringing him to smooch level. Incredible. For, and for I that. do love to watch that, so I'm very excited. Jenny is All a right. watcher. Mm-hmm. So we've got I've got two because I couldn't decide. We'll see if they mean anything to you guys. Let's see if they resonate. Mm-hmm. So this first quote by Inspirebot is Love making is a game you can play. Love making oh. is a game. I don't know if I put the right emphasis on it. Love making is a game you can play. I think emphasis on play. Let's let's try it again. Take two. Love making emphasis is on. a game you yeah. can play. Let me ask you this question, and this is a question from me that I'd like to ask you right now. <laughs> How often have you brought two quotes to the show before? Never. Never. That's- as they would say in old first. Shakespearean time. I'm full stimmed. That was it. I am, oh, that was all I needed, I'm baby. I'm overly oh, I missed a stim. I may need to step away and take care of this. I'm so stimmed. I just broke through my oh, desk. Oh, I'm a full chub. I've ripped my pants. I'm completely naked now. Oh, what? man. This I is incredible. The sti- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Can you get me there? Can you get me there? I'm, I feel well, like I'm, I, I'm I don't I'm know. I don't know. We c- we skimmed the stim for Sam, but maybe oh. we can continue to We often do. Sam still has the foreskin, and the rest of us are now cut. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, it trimmed. The brie happened, and uh, it was mm-hmm. cheesy. But uh, tell you what, we'll s- we'll, e- we'll each send yours, Sammy, and then you can at least feel Thanks. like you were part mm-hmm. of the fun, even though you know you've still got yours. Can you, can you send it? Yeah. Send, send the vibrations my way. <laughs> that Whoa, that got like little... violent. Jesus, I like the <laughs> initial vibrations, but then it got oof, dangerous. Yeah, well, we're you know, dangerous that's how, crew. it's dangerous. That's how it's we roll when, uh, when we're shooting foreskin around the table. Better put some <laughs> goggles on. It's like SeaWorld. The first four rows will get foreskin on them. Yep. Did you say the sewer? Yes. Oh, okay. Sea exactly. World. Oh, SeaWorld. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, they don't have, necessarily they don't really have technically what you might call SeaWorld in Vermont, but they do have sewer. <laughs> So <laughs> you were it's right. Pretty close. Yeah. Is That's that the Vermont accent for saying SeaWorld. Y'all ready to say yeah. sour? Okay. So <laughs> moving on, this next inspirational quote. It says, public restrooms begin where reality shows end. I don't think we even interpreted the first one, but you know, fuck it. We're gonna skim that it. That was a lot it. to unpack, I feel That's like. a lot. There really to unpack. is. There really is. That say one more time for the group so we can and say it slower even this time from just for me. Public rest public restrooms begin where reality shows end. Mm, 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 mm. I, I think we had our That's first a deep uh, one. stim milk production from Chris King. That was a group over here. A group oh, is it not a group stim milk? I'm well my eyes were closed, <laughs> I so I guess well, we weren't making the same face. Maybe the same reaction was happening, Sorry, but I in my head I really I wasn't even in the same room anymore. For right when I saw there. Stefan, I immediately I was, you know, I'm kind of all milked out right now. So <laughs> we uh yes, we have reached the stim and um mm-hmm. there's no more to trim. So I think that quote was honestly so good that I I don't even like Teddy Roosevelt anymore. That's how good your quote was. Yeah. I don't even remember that- who it was. That was by Bill Cosby, actually. I knew it. <laughs> that actually seems like it could be by Bill Cosby or Bill Cosby bot that uses AI to take all Bill Cosby quotes and then create an inspirational one. I like Bill Cosby bot. Is that a I pitch? Because I'm in it. as an investor. If you need, if you need funding for that. I am also in as an investor. Oh, man. If you're willing to put, put, put in some money for it, I would be willing to make it. Cause <laughs> I'm out as an investor. You lost me. <laughs> Putting oh. some money, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because Thank you. Oh, he likes fire. the jello pudding. Oh, well, okay. Right. Do we vote on, like, I guess we're always just so competitive. We're such cutthroat little devils, aren't we? I want to know whose quote was the best. Oh, okay. Bill Cosby's. Do you guys want to vote on the quote? Vote on the quote. Quote, bro. Okay, so I am going to vote on my favorite quote. Okay. Because. 
it's your show. It's my That's show, true. and I do what I want. I yeah. can cry yeah. if I want to. It doesn't have to be. It does also doesn't have to be a a a, a democratic vote it's your show you can just choose right that's that's good pandering too sam i i um (laughs) i think that jenny's i can't even remember what it was because it took so long to get there come on so i'm gonna not vote for that one chris k daniels i really like teddy roosevelt well i've never met him but from what i've heard he's a great guy robin williams did a good job I loved the interpretation that Robin Williams did of him in Night at the Museum 1 and 2, and perhaps 3. I didn't see that one. Some say he played Teddy better than Teddy played Teddy. That is true. That's what yep. Sigmund and Freud had said. Or exactly right. Re- Siskel and Freud. So, yep. Sam's... Uh, I'm really going to disappoint you here. I um... Jenny, please, tell us. Tell us what's your going phone. on right now. It's your Hand phone. over the phone, mouth. It? My video, just my video is not, I'm, I am such, I'm literally, I'm such a disappointment that I don't even, I don't even know what to tell you. I really, I just, I've let everybody down today. I am a complete, oh, and the, and the alarm, (laughs) and the alarm. Oh man. Your phone is telling you to stop talking. It's, it's. I think it's you. I think my phone hates you actually. Can oh, I talk with it for a second? Perfectly timed. Yeah, you can have a little <laughs> conversation while I delete some stuff. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to gloss over that and move on to Sam because Sam's quote was pretty powerful too, but he mentioned it being in a French movie. I hate the French. So I'm yeah, going to go with Chris. Agree. Chris K. Daniels. Okay. Chris just That's gets fair. everything, doesn't he? Chris just gets everything. Jenny, yes! I even got that. That fed me too. I'm like a, I, I'm like a guy who likes eating and there's all this food around me. Oh man, he's he's a glutton for reward. So Ugh. chomp it up. Mm. Oh my god, I've never been so proud to have taken Teddy's quote and brought it to the table with my good close <laughs> friends. Oh, so thank man. you for I'm this s- opportunity. I have plenty more things I could take and bring to you if you're interested. I'm sorry, there's no speech, so we can just move on to the next <laughs> yeah, segment. Probably, and that okay. is, we we've got right. some questions that we're going to answer. This first one came from Reddit, and I'm our so friend excited. Blake found it. It says. Is it wrong that my friend makes me do her chores while I'm at her house? Today I was made to do the dishes Mm. twice because she claimed I used more than her, which I didn't. (sighs) Anyway, whenever I had a guest or been at a guest's house, they typically don't make you do household chores, so I'm kind of mad. Am I wrong or no? So, Hmm. better off, better friends. Sam, raising your hand. That's, personally, that's 100% fucked up. The the job of the host is to host the guest. You, the The guest should want for nothing. From like, The host should take care of everything. The first thing you're supposed to do when a guest walks in, offer them a refreshment, offer them some food. Having someone make you do your own dishes while you're at someone else's home, you can offer. It's polite to offer. But no, the host is supposed to, in my personal opinion, the host is supposed to be like, no, 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 sit down. I'll take care of it. It's supposed, it's a, hus- it's a hospitality thing. And personally, re- Reddit, person i think that's a that friendship's going nowhere you should you should back out now see this is why i hate sam yeah spoken (laughs) like a real consumer you know why he said that is because he's the goddamn friend that never hosts (laughs) he's the guy (laughs) he's the guy who comes down to boston four hours from his home Uh and then asks so what are you guys doing monday (laughs) so uh whose couch can i sleep on guys well, guys, I mean, he's got tattoos to save up for, so you he's got a tattoo cake, budget. Cake well, how's he going to host people? Taker. He's got to come over to your guys' house to get on, to nib on those cheese platters. It's crazy that you found Sam's one comment on Reddit posting <laughs> That's this. That's insane that you found that. I'm glad, oh. though, Chris and Jenny, that you feel that way, because at a comedy advice podcast, I do make my guests wash the dishes, so... Um, See, since Sam, I will wash your... all of your dishes. It was a weird request that you wanted me to bring my my long uh, rubber gloves and a sponge. That's yes. I also make you bring your own equipment to wash my dishes. So I, I always bring that. my own washing equipment. So I am down to come over, do your dishes. You know, unlike Sam, who's very needy and takey and ungrateful. Can I just say real quick? <gasps> I have offered to have these fuckers up to Vermont so many times and they're all like, mm, Yeah, but it's yeah, Vermont. Yeah, it's Vermont. Yeah, okay. I would pamper you. I would pamper you so hard. 
That's like you asking me to go into a sewer with you. Okay. Good point. And you're going to get splashed if you're in the first six rows. Exactly. I think Vermont is a spectacular place, especially in the fall, guys. I mean, those leaves. (gasps) Wow. Incredible. That's the only thing that they have. This is a classic Leaves mistake people incest. like you make. This is a cr- classic problem with your kind, Stefan. Everybody <laughs> likes something when they're across a country from it. Mm-hmm. I do have another story to tell about Vermont. My Please. grandfather on my father's side, he was born in Vermont. He ended up getting in a fight with his family, and he ended up hitchhiking on trains all the way to California, which meant he hated Vermont so much, he oh hopped God. on a train to get as far away from it as possible. Can you can you figure That's out how it should be. what his route was? How did he do that? Because I'm close. Which train? I'm close to doing that. What were the I, like? How did he get there? Like like wh- where did he jump on? Where did he jump off? I would love that information because I yes. can I can only take another week here. It's like, <laughs> so empty. <laughs> I will send you the link to his blog, Vermont Very Refugees nice. in Training. So dot um, org. So if you want to go there, you can find all the steps. He's got some YouTube videos Beautiful. and stuff like that as well. Nice. Very low traffic. It's not as big of a demographic as you would think. The numbers aren't it's, there. It's just Sam. Content oh. is content. Yes, exactly. He's uh yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what were we? Say? Oh, any any other thoughts dishes. about yeah, dishes? I, I, I have strong opinions. I believe it's a game of quantity. You know, they say the double Q, quantity and quality, and that's the way life goes, baby. But this is a game of quantity. If you're somebody who's regularly going to one specific house, if you got a friend in your friend circle that's always hosting, I don't think it's so It's so effed. I don't think it's such a, a, a big old H and an S with your C. If your friend is like, hey, can you help me? Sometimes, you know, if it's a game of quantity and you're always going to one particular person's house and they're all always hosting i don't think it's so crazy for them to say hey fuck you you're here all the time help me clean some dishes you old hag your friend's really old in that case to backpack off of that chris i think that along with quantity you go it's quantity still i'm not really changing the subject but i would also uh take into account i would take into account how long you've known them maybe how long you've been friends because it's like if it's a new friend it's a little weird to be like hey do your own dishes bro but if it's like your your friend that you've known for a while maybe you have some backstory with them grew up together your moms know each other and they gab together like moms do then it's a little more normal to be like hey clean your fucking dish bro like let's go come on don't be however However. If you guys, if you want to, if you have a new friend, you want them to know what you're all about. Establish dominance. And mm. do, yes, that's what, that's why you pee on them and you make them do your dishes. Yeah. yeah. Pee pan avail- available at a comedyadvicepodcast.com today. That's right. Slash, slash better off pan. better. Get yours now while the stock supplies. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Sam is big on stocks. He's very smart too. He knows a lot of stuff. This guy. <laughs> You'll find if you talk to him for more than an hour, you won't be like, wow, this is a really, uh, really empty, empty jar <laughs> throwback. But instead, he's a full jar. Um, I will say. Um, Go ahead. I will say after I, I was taking it more as a general rule, but after being called out and I am realizing <laughs> that, um, yeah, I'm an asshole, but um, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I agree. I 100% Let's agree with these two. It's um, it's more of a situational thing with with friend groups. I completely agree with them, but also newer friend, the host, 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 host should take care of their guests. And just so you guys know, if anyone wants to come to Vermont, if anyone wants I don't to come like to Vermont, all the relatability happening in the circle. I don't like all the relatability happening here. I don't like bonding. Yeah. So I think that if you are perhaps on going on a Bumble date soon, shout out Bumble, no e. Bzz. Bzz. Don't go out on dates during a pandemic. Yep. Uh, don't well, do that. You know. Bzz. But. I would have to say, if you don't make your Bumble date clean up their their mess, if you don't make them do a little bit of dish, they don't even have to have eaten at, eaten at your house. If they are not cleaning a dish by the time Find they a leave, dish for them. then frankly, I think that's sexist in 2021. I think no Bumble date should leave the house without at least cleaning three to five dishes. Thought Right. Or you go Dutch and you clean half. So that oh, way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's a good like date activity. You each clean a dish at the same time. You could time. hold your hands while mm-hmm. doing one half of the dish. Like a ghost situation half. where like That's you're both in the sink and you're like, you're both 
you're both like sculpting the pot, but it's a yes. dish that you're cleaning. Oh, See, Sam is romantic, that's and that's date. that's one of the few things we do. He does bring to the table, you could say. That <laughs> yeah. is the only you know thing on the table. I will also, since yes. we're making this a competition, to see who answered this the best, I do like the fact that Sam turned over a new maple leaf and he said, <laughs> okay, you know what? I might be wrong in some scenarios and um, I'm going to clean up my act and my dish. Yep. I think Sam is awarded 10,000 points. It's Listen, not Mr. a good thing though because he's weak. He breaks under pressure. Which he, you, yeah. He put his yeah, stance out there. And then you say something else and he just cracks immediately. It's exactly what you misinterpreted there is not is not a beautiful maple leaf in the wind, but it is a mm. small little man uh, mm -hmm. being, you know, pushed by a door and then apologizing yes. to the not door. Not even a door, the wind. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't deny any of that. Just, and, and you know what, just because that's a slippery slope of syrup that, that go down, I am not mm -hmm. going to go back on my word and say Sam is still the winner, therefore... I'm not like him, but he gets the points. He wins. <laughs> Good for him. You know what, guys? We're going to move on into a special segment. And oh this God. one, Ooh. it's never been done before. Wow. They viewing it. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, because I just Shut thought of it in. today. Okay. And, um, and it's stimmed. Go ahead. Sorry, Jenny. We keep talking over. I here. just said. I well, shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> shut Jenny. Oh damn straight. He got you there. This is my podcast now. Wash the dishes, Jenny. God damn it. Oh! Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Team Stefan, <laughs> Team Stefan, get the damn sponge, you rat. So my respect for you just went up, up, up. Up, up, up. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do in this segment is this is going to be a competition. I am going to read 10 dad jokes. Okay. Uh you guys, this is going to be a test of concentration. Oh. And um, similar to meditation where you try and calm your mind and not think of other things, you guys are going to not smile or laugh while I read oh, these 10 dad jokes. I'm I love bad at dad that. jokes, though. <laughs> dad jokes are my favorite. I don't know I any. Do so, can I close my eyes? Am okay, I allowed to okay. do that? Yes, you can close that your eyes, That might be Jenny. weird. I might laugh ah. if I'm closing my eyes. If I see ah. Sam, I usually laugh just because he's funny looking. <laughs> No, no. You know what? You have to keep them open. Just for that, you have to okay. keep them open. So this is how it's going to go. I'm going to go down and read them. And as I get through, if you get three and stop, whoever doesn't laugh through the most wins. If you guys all make it through the end and don't laugh, then that sucks. And I'm going to delete the whole segment. No, okay. I will lose. And um, I think that's just the way it goes. Any questions? Do you have to be close with your father to get to sort of get this game or or what? <laughs> um Does he have to approve of you for this game to work or what? <laughs> Could you relate on the rules more specifically? He approves of me and Sam, so <laughs> yeah, he okay. does. He, um, it's it's kind of like a second connection close since ah. <laughs> yeah, he actually gave me the jokes and he was like, make sure that <laughs> Oh, you've heard sure from him. That... Where? He tells them all the time. He has a very busy schedule with me. He was washing dishes with me. <laughs> he has a very busy schedule with me. How come, so Sam? I only let him out of his cage for an hour a day, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what type of cage is it? A small one. The sex kind. There it is. I was setting you up because you, you penetrate my father. I wanted you to say, say, lay it down because we're on new territory right now. <laughs> Stefan listeners, he penetrates my father, and that's what we were getting at with the cage thing. We all, Should we also mention that he's... Uh, He's not gone? around that much for you. Yeah, he's. he's I gone. guess let's yeah, lay down all the context, so you, so you really, you're emotionally involved. <laughs> I would abandon him too. Jenny, could you break it down? Um, what's my relationship like with Daddy? Uh, non-existent, if you will. Uh, he abandoned him just like anybody would after five minutes with Chris. Uh oh. Well, let's go to the jokes. The details were all good on the first. Shall part. we? All right. All right. Making fun of Chris's dad's absence made me giggly, so I got I got to recenter myself. Mm -hmm. Made me soft. That that fully stimmed bean thing we had going on before, it's gone. Oh man. All okay. right. I'm well, ready. Sorry. <clears throat> yep. I'm ready to not you. laugh. Do you guys do you guys listen to any meditation apps? Do you do meditation at all? We tried it for a week. Uh, we tried it for the podcast, but it was interesting. None of us are really stuck with it. I don't think. Oh, okay. I don't okay. love it. I can do an Andy from Headspace. Ooh, I know, the, I know Andy. I'm familiar with Andy. I'm familiar with Andy from our week. I believe we talked about him. Hi, I'm Andy, and welcome to Headspace. Today, Ooh. you're going to be hearing some dad jokes, and that's all I've got. Okay, all right. 
So you guys are, are all well done. good and calm. Wow. And, and okay. That calmed yeah. me right down. I'm also going to try not to laugh at these jokes. I'm, but it doesn't matter because I'm the host of this podcast. So fuck it. You can do whatever you want. Yes, sir. My wife is really mad at the fact that I have no sense of direction. So I packed up my stuff and write. Okay, we're all good. Did you hear the rumor about butter? Well, I'm not going to spread it. What? Why can't a nose be... <laughs> Jenny, you make I two. Just... I was just, right. I was trying to process the, never mind. Okay, it's, it's okay. You can still try. You definitely lost, but you can still try. All right, okay. Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Damn, cold as ice. Okay, all right, stones over here. Dad, can you put the cat out? I didn't know it was on fire. Fuck, you guys are good. Okay. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten. Ten tickles. Oh, man, I I'm starting to see a crack. Sam. I'm seeing the crack. I thought that one would have got Sam. I've composed myself. What concert costs just 45 cents? 50 Cent featuring Nickelback. Fuck. Okay. Right. How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. Eh, boogie. Boogie. I like that one. I, I would be it. smiling if I I'm was against allowed the, to. I'm against the tissue industry, so that one doesn't The tissue industry to as a whole. Big tissue I'm, is really a problem. No talking. No Sorry. talking. Go ahead. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Hmm. I see Sam's about to break. I don't know what's going yeah, on with him, is. but okay. All right. He is. When he goes, that's a break face. You guys have made eight so far. This is the ninth. <clears throat> Why can't you hear a psychiatrist go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honeycomb. Fuck! You guys made it! That was 10! I oh, really liked oh, that God, last that one. That was the hardest challenge I've really ever faced. I really liked that last one. Holy crap. I, um, can I just say, I knew 9 out of the 10 of those. I I <laughs> used to do those regularly at work. I used to do like walk up to like a, like, like a co-worker and be like, Hey, why did the Scarecrow <laughs> win an award? <laughs> Smash He's cut to Sam doesn't have a job anymore. <laughs> okay. Can I really quick just tell you guys why I broke on that, that second one? That was so one? hard. That was because... that was really quick. You that uh, okay, was very well, premature. But there's Jenny. a good ex there's a there's a good explanation. So the first one that you told, right? Uh, could you repeat that one really quick just to get a little recap? The yeah. first one. Let's do yeah. a recap segment. Can I laugh? My Can wife laugh is now? really mad at the fact that I have no sense of direction. So I packed up my stuff and write. <laughs> See, so the reason that I laughed at that one, and I'm going to completely ruin this joke for you now, but there's a video of this woman who was on, I think it was like America's, like, I don't know, Beyonce? some talent show. And she came out and she was supposed to be doing stand-up comedy. And I was very excited. And she walks out and she goes, oh, all you, are you all right? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah. And she goes, no, you're all left. And that was it. And there is silence. And it's like one of my favorite videos. It's very close to my heart. I love it so much. It was the worst joke she could have told. Nobody responded appropriately. And that's what I was thinking of when you said that. So I was just done after that. Oh, I was man. just cheese and thinking of her. Nice. There's cheese everywhere, Jenny. This is disgusting. Oh, God. Ten tickles. Ten tickles oh, almost broke me. I love that joke. That is a great, that is a I... solid joke. That is so it is good. It one. doesn't go blue, which I, you know, I'm not a fan of going blue. You know, See, I'm that's my problem blue. is I, I believe that they're too clean for my liking. And I like, I like <laughs> the swamp to be a little dirty. I don't like a pool that has chlorine. I like a... Should I have done dead baby jokes the next time? Chris loves dead baby jokes. Dead baby that. jokes are, they're fine. I'm more of like a, likes... you know, telling a cute joke about the wife and it, and, well, this is, is this an adult podcast? <laughs> this is, you can curse. Are we allowed to talk you. about things like rape and murder? Jesus Christ, Jenny. Uh, all right. I'm asking on behalf of Chris. 
That's not where I was going. Uh, I actually uh, Chris loves those oh. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was mentioning Bill Cosby a lot earlier. Uh-huh. So. Why? Did something happen with him? <laughs> uh, no. I was just marathoning on TV Land. They're like, doing like a back to back, and it, he really is a ta- like a ta- an American talent. What were you guys talking just, about? Yeah. A, tr- a treasure. A treasure that is now buried deep within the penal system. I was watching. I don't have that so, many DVDs, but I was going through American Beauty. Oh, an all-time classic. And that is, oh my, I oh got Oh my God, Kevin Spacey in that one? So A dream, good. a dream. Oh my God, I love Kevin Spacey. Mm-hmm. Why, why is he needing more stuff actor. now? Like he seems to like drop, like I was waiting for him to, like for the latest season of House of Cards. I know, I've been on a Woody like, Allen binge and I gotta say, I cannot get enough. That guy, he just knows how to tell a story so intimately. Lord of the Rings Oh my does. God, did you see Ants? He did a great job. Oh my God, he was so like good. The storyline. Amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. Lord of the Rings. I, yeah. Harvey Weinstein, one of the best producers out there, bar none. Amazing bar none. producer. Amazing <laughs> producer. I was actually watching that last week on Epstein's Island, and it was, oh. uh, they do a whole movie night out there sometimes. It was really, That's it sick. was something. And Stefan, this is my question for you. When was it? I was that hanging you... out once. I could have one more. I was hanging out with Army <laughs> Hammer the other day. <laughs> my dick's gone. He ate it. <laughs> Stefan, right. when was it that sort of, I, I guess, the voice opened up within your ear, kind of spread your hair back, your beautiful locks back, and said, Stefan, you're gonna do funny things. You can't you can't do real things. You're gonna be you're gonna be a jokey guy. When was it that you were like, this is it? I like being a you know, getting the getting a chuckle out of my uncle or whatever, or my my dad or something. A <laughs> I chuckle, don't know how close you guys well. are. My my spunkle. Uh, yes. You know, I actually this is I haven't told anyone except for the last guest on the podcast this, but wow. I I'm when married. I was a I young lad, when I was a young lad, this is very embarrassing. But yeah, I used to set up my VHS cassettes of all the Disney movies that I had around the entertainment center, right. and then I would put on a show for them. And I had such a throbbing crush on Jasmine, Ooh. and I just wanted to impress her. So uh, I tried sorry, everything. Sorry to, sorry to be like, sorry Please. to wreck your day, but he, she's 14. Just so let you know, mm-hmm. that's a little bit. Can you not bring, okay, if we're going to get all like, it's a little I creepy. get it, okay, you're like liberal it's fine northeast. In Japan. Can we just, yeah. let's talk. You're right, dude. Jasmine, she fine, bro. Let's shut up, Sam, though. <laughs> Jasmine, so you dumb truck of an ass. So my, yeah, so my six-year-old self, which, you know what, she'd be in trouble in that scenario. She would be. But I was enamored with La Jasmine. And so I Mm. was trying to do anything that I could to get her into my warm, youthful embrace. And I tried. Whole new world. You were trying to be a pea in her pod, if you will. I tried. Yes, I wanted to get in her container. I wanted to put my You wanted to pee all up in her pod in her pod so to be able to pollinate i tried multiple forms of entertainment like singing i tried the art of prose juggling and i felt like comedy after i started cracking some jokes making fun of the tiger raja she was uh cracking a little smile and so i thought this is the way to go you know what it is i think everybody this might be a problem with everybody else not me I I believe everybody that takes themselves fully seriously is annoying and not likable as people. Is they that should die. is that fair to say? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I I agree with that. And I just I feel think like yeah. No, no, go ahead, finish it up, please. Well, no, I just it, it's it's just something I've I've progressively learned with my with my years of wisdom. You know, I've got a lot of them, and the wisdom comes with every day that passes. Once the moon goes down, the thoughts come out. Yikes. Once the the head hits the. Pillow, I should have interrupted. God huh. damn it! You yeah. should have interrupted. Yeah. Let me, See, this let is let one of those times. For the back, actually. you have to insert okay. yourself. Okay, all right, okay, all moving right. on. No, I was just gonna say <laughs> with my I I came from a family, two brothers, two sisters, and me, and I was the oldest, and so we would shout out Fran. Brother constantly god damn, I, I, she's gonna hear this and she's france gonna fran it france dan if, i swear to god if she comes on your podcast or if you guys become friends oh, can we get fran on our that. podcast i no. would absolutely love fran hit oh me up god. uh god. hit me up on instagram it's j whip j w h i four p's hit me up fran 
We're gonna Could be you so perhaps give us Fran's podcast. mailing address? Because I'm uh, I'm a bit of a writer these days. Yeah. So oh no, she needs no news. more pen pals. She needs no more Instagram friends. Ooh, you guys are I my will, friends. You guys are in my P jar. <laughs> I'm. Oh my god, I'm gonna hop right in her P jar. Fran, come on, hop in, hop in, Fran. No. Let's go. Come no, on. Fran, come on, no. Candy. No, god damn it. It's okay, happen. well, you guys are my friends. Even though she's your <laughs> age and I'm way older, I could be your father's. But but Chris, maybe, you know, potential. <gasps> is there a chance? Is there is it possible that I can fill out? So, uh, I actually just bought a second cage. <laughs> <laughs> what a great turn of events. Do I have to Perfect wash dishes, diamond. Sam? Obviously not. I'm your host. Oh, good. Okay. Good. Wow. Just, just, just be a sexual slave. That's the yeah, only thing. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Oh man. I feel like Chris and I could be. Uh, father. Maybe son. I could be your father, Chris. Maybe you could be my it daddy, feels Stephen. Like a, yeah. If I got Jasmine Preggers at like. Oh no, I don't want to go into those ages. No, you're right. Go ahead, do the math. <laughs> if I was. Properly crunch the numbers, and I'm gonna dial, and I'm gonna dial the Fe- Fe- Federal Bureau of Investors mm-hmm. right now. That's not <laughs> the FBI ten- that you know. It's it's a board of uh, it's a hedge fund. It's a I'm, different I'm one. Talking to he started it. The Federal oh. Bureau of Investors. They're very small. So honestly, they're... if you were ten years old and she was fourteen, that's still like that's sad. That's like you'd be on Teen Moms, but like it's yeah. not as bad as it could have been. You know, it's not illegal that's yet. Bad. I don't think. But no, I ten to fourteen's better. gangster. That's like you talk about that's that shit. Dope. In yeah, that's studies. badass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I would have. Well, I would have. I would have narrated my magic carpet ride with all my friends. There was a teacher at my high school that sent um, a picture of her boobs to a student. So that's multiple times too. She was like back and forth with them. She was cute though. She was hot. I wish I got that. That was pictures. the worst part is that nobody at the school oh. was like, "Fuck, that's wrong." Everybody was like, "Are you kidding yeah. me? Him?" Like, how did you get that? Can you send it to me? That's what I was saying at least. Uh, very attractive. Yeah. Was her Those... name Miss Jasmine? You know her. It was. It she was, was Jasmine. 14. Yeah. God damn it. Damn it. She did. She sent them to everybody except for me. Mm-hmm. And I tried so hard as I'll a four-year-old, not as a 32-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It was because of that weird VHS thing you used to do in your living room. She mm-hmm. heard about that. She heard about yeah, that. Yeah, she didn't like it. Very strange. There are all- She hates comedy. It's recordings of me with my brother dancing around in diapers to the Capena song. And, and the crazy part is you were you were 17 when you guys made that. Oh yeah. god, that was last week actually. We just got <laughs> I a whole love a copy of those like... for my own personal reasons. Uh, like, so if you could just shoot that Are you over close with me. your with your brothers as much as you are with Fran? What's the deal with that? Not after that video. Nope, no. not after that video. <laughs> no, we're we are we are so close that we actually created the podcast that was that is a comedy advice podcast. That is this. Interesting, was, Chris, that you didn't hear any of those episodes because I did, and I uh, yeah. I enjoyed them thoroughly. Me and Jenny Ben knowing that. Those are the OG episodes. Only the OGs remember, right, Sam? Hmm. Well, you Which know what, like Chris and I remember. did meet before to talk about the questions before, so mm-hmm. I gave him yeah, some questions. So way to, to blow me. it, guys, that I'm trying to wingman him into putting a little more <laughs> a little more spiel on the resume because those are the OG episodes. There's a lot mm-hmm. of new listeners, and I'm trying to set him up for the Netflix pitch mm-hmm. that he has coming up. I didn't want to spoil anything. Sorry, Stefan. Oh, but man, oh man. Well, the peas are out of the pod now, so we might as well <laughs> munch on them and give them to Netflix. But I'm still in mine. It's too big. <laughs> oh god oh, wow. oh man well we'll squeeze you out eventually but thank you th- yes netflix here we come a comedy advice podcast and better off better mm-hmm. it is called uh princess and the p it's called better off a comedy advice podcast whoa with peas that's, that's better than mine gotta have the so. with peas though whipped mm-hmm. peas Whipped, whipped peas. peas that's my but, podcast but i feel like whipped our flaw peas. here was that we didn't properly do enough advice was there another question i mean you can cut out our shtick uh, i mean we're too sticky i'm sorry we that's just like our whole thing is we do shtick we dip yeah, and drop yeah i can we, barely talk because i feel like there's shtick on the top of my tongue but, that's exactly um, what we, we are get... we're shtick at the top of the mouth that doesn't let it move <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get our walking shtick and move on over to the last question i would love that guys this is found by our fan, Zach. Thank you, Zach. <clears throat> Shout out, Zach, says, my favorite thanks, Zach. Uh, member. It says, I'm dancing in front of my VHS tapes and have a crush on... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Zach, I'd like you to know that it's hopeless for you now and it won't go up from here. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes you, Zach. Uh, that's weird. So stop, please. And oh, also God. send me the video. All right. Next, next question. <clears throat> it says, been seeing a guy. For two months. Last weekend, he asked me what I would like for Valentine's Day. I told him I'm a big fan of chocolate-covered strawberries. Then he asked me what my favorite flowers are. Wednesday, he told me he would come to my place this Saturday night, and we would go out to dinner. I bought him a gift because he was going to be at, at least getting me strawberries, dinner, and flowers. I bought him 100 rounds of ammo that he had been searching for and some candy he likes. Last night, he shows up with nothing. With nothing. Literally nothing. Says he will pick up takeout because all the restaurants are probably slammed. So we get Japanese takeout. Takes me to the grocery store and says we're going to get strawberries and melting chocolate so we can make my strawberries. We get to the checkout and he says, you can get this and I'll buy dinner. So I even paid for my strawberries. Later, he opens his gift excitedly and says, thanks. Never mentions anything else and just leaves after dinner watching a movie. What the fuck? Up until this point, he's been great, but a little offended at how how it all went down also we didn't even have sex not that i really wanted to after this but damn i could have at least gotten an orgasm out of this i feel like such a clown i hate men i choose help so there uh, guys a lot to unpack unlike the gifts that she didn't receive but if i could pull up in the first bow uh i would like to say uh, to that man out there, wherever you are, I know you're listening. Obviously, why wouldn't you be? Shout out. Correct. Uh, alpha move. Alpha move. Uh, Ugh, Jenny, I knew you were gonna up, say that shit. Build him up, and then you just cr come, let it come crashing down. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun. I think you know you set up a a craft for their yeah. date. You know, you make you make chocolate covered strawberries together. Craft. No, Craft I date. disagree 100% because an alpha uh. move would be, I'm not getting you shit for Valentine's Day. We're going to bang or whatever they said. We're going to put our peas that in the pod. That is alpha. That's alpha. But he, he, he was little bitch move. He was like, I'm going to get you strawberries and I'm going to exactly. get you this. Exactly. Exactly. That was my main issue with it. He built it up. Yeah. He was like, he asked like over a period of days what he was gonna get her, what That's she sweet. might want, and then That's he brought the nothing. Of it. And then, and then, honestly, I think I'd be fine. Like it's, I'm, I'm least offended by the fact that she had to pay for her own strawberries because like he's buying dinner and I think that that's like an equal partnership sort of deal where like you're you're both going on the sure. date you're both you doing things her. one person should not one person should not spend all the money on everything but just and being like didn't even attempt to make a dinner reservation just was like assuming that all the restaurants would be booked like if he had planned it so he's like oh I'm going to pick up take out it like all of these things that he did um aren't bad if done properly but he did it in the most like I don't give a shit way. Like if instead, like if he didn't, if Alpha. he asked what her favorite flowers, if he asked what Alpha. her favorite flowers were, so if he asked what her favorite chocolate Alpha. was, and then all of those things, and he and he planned a night around that where he, he we did do chocolate covered strawberries no. as a gift, and then we got takeout. We made. A Could movie. I slide my two cents on the table? Listen, women Sam like it voice. when you're mean to them. His voice is piercing my ears. It's like um, okay, I'm done. Paper, I'm done. Paper clips. I'm kind of um, like the romance guy, though. You said it yourself. Yeah, but you're kind of the pussy chat. guy. Yeah, I would have to say, in my defense, they weren't the right bullets, and I did have her best <laughs> intentions in mind. Little mm -hmm. awkward that you took that you screen capped this conversation yeah. particularly. I am sorry that I bought the wrong ones. I know you were drilling it into my head the right ones to buy, and I did mess it up. But again, I do think it's alpha of you. So good job. You shot your shot, I think, and that's what's important. Mm -hmm. and, and that's uh, what I that's what I always try to do. Any location, anywhere, anyone. No one's safe. The yeah. shot's coming, baby. But I think that the Not shooting blanks. The big He's got a with, trigger finger. Yeah, the big problem with the whole scenario, I think, does come down to that there was no and again, I say this sensitively because it's it's tough times these days. I don't know how old that uh, conversation is, that happening is, but you you gotta partake in intercourse. People, you're gonna lose your mind and you're gonna go crazy if you're not letting one loose yeah. and if you're not you shooting your it. shot, so to speak, metaphorically and physically, especially physically. 
but also metaphorically. And then I don't know what you're doing. This this pandemic, it's getting to you, guy. That's probably why he's being rude. He forgets his social skills. Really, she should have sympathy for this poor fella. Maybe he meant, well, there's some sort of PTSD here. I think it goes deeper. He meant, well, he knew in his head of hearts and his heart of heads that he should get her something nice. And that don't slow me down. I see that it looks like everybody in the circle is a little impatient. Let's start well, a little waiting further. waiting to finish. Okay. Well, well I, I just wanted to say, I, yeah, I think. <laughs> so you're saying, Chris, that he should have, gotten his nut is, mm -hmm. is what you're saying because he doesn't have that post nut clarity i feel like you're looking at a little too binary mr post nut and mr clarity the thing that i need you to see is that maybe there's more depth to it maybe there's trouble at home maybe he just needed to get out of the house maybe he's missing a dad like chris is chris understands his struggle i don't you know? get that i don't understand that uh, at all maybe actually. his dad but also hates him like chris does perhaps but no nay i say nay because you know what a bad thing may be happening to him, but just like coronavirus, if you're not wearing a mask, it's going to spread to her because he's everything he's Thank doing. You. He's like cough, cough, no strawberries, cough. Yeah. Oh well, you can pay for the strawberries. Cough. I still think it's alpha. reservations are are scarce, and we're not going to be able to get a restaurant. And then cough, I ain't going to give you an orgasm. So I feel like he just she's infected. Rona'd her. She just she he is did sick her. now. With with uh, a bad romance. With his wow. Exactly. Alpha My biggest issue, though, with this whole story is the fact that she, the the bullet part of the story, like buying bullets, that's a thoughtful gift. He was looking for them, oh. but they've been dating for two months. They've been dating for two months, and she okay. already knows that he he's complaining about not being able to find like specific bullets. Right. And she was able to find those bullets. And how weird is your gun if these bullets are not regularly available at like a Walmart or some shit? What kind of weird fucking auto automatic fucking rifle are you using? Yeah, you go ahead, Sam. Weirdo? Name some guns. Name some guns, Sam. Glock. Nice. Um, <laughs> Glock. The only Rari. With Glock in, in the Rari. I knew that from the <laughs> lyrics. Yes. Um, Desert Eagle, because that sounds like a sick band name. Yeah. Um, Revolver, because I hardly know her. Revolver. Oh, hey. Thank you. Um, that's it. That's all of them. That's all the guns, right? I'm just saying that sometimes emotions are complex, and this is something you guys wouldn't understand. Like There's guns. Like guns. There's yeah. a lot of layers to it, and nice. different buttons do different things, and sometimes emotions kill people. And I think, frankly... <laughs> Frankly, if you get somebody the wrong bullets for their emotions, aka SSRIs, then sometimes AKA can... forty-seven. That's exactly right. Full circle. Sam, you have my back there. And I just yep. think that maybe this is a person that that thought in his head of hearts, and again, his heart of heads, that perhaps he wanted to do all these things, and then it just sometimes depression works in a funny way and i'm just trying to think along the lines of of this animal this this piggly little man that took advantage of this woman with her with her bullets and with her strawberries and with this misleading restaurant invitation that maybe there was drive that disappeared and sometimes emotions move like this especially in a state of despair and loneliness that could be from the quarantine state that we've you know been what? in 2020 I, he's constantly you're, you're, defending the man that's the main issue with chris he constantly defends the man like every time chris that, loves like he men. loves he, he stuck with Bill Cosby for years after it. Yeah. He loves Kevin Spacey still. And it just it's just one of those things because he's like, I have penis too, that he thinks that it's like... He, you know what, though? He's, 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 he's got a point because I think that, you know, he you don't know what's going on. And so I think this guy, he should be, for, he should be uh, pardoned of his sins of not living up to his word. I think the next time he gets a parking ticket, he could go to the judge and be like, judge, you don't really know what's going on in my life. So you should really wear that ticket. The sad, next time, judge. the next time he goes up to to McDonald's and they say that'll be nine fifty, and then he says yeah. I forgot my wallet, and they're like, "Well, you got to pay." And he's like, "Well, you don't really know what's going on in my life." And they're like, right. "You know what? You're right." So I I feel like we should give him the benefit of the doubt and the benefit of the burger Back and the benefit again. of the parking ticket. Very nice, and the B O T B <laughs> as they call it in on the streets. Nah, I uh, hate men. I think that you guys are really apologists. I think you're male apologists or female okay. female apologists. Yeah. Um, oh, I just think a fun fact that he. I you. I let you guys. I let you guys both talk. I would I hate to one. have Jenny as a boyfriend. By the way, I Jenny seems like the meanest <laughs> boyfriend in the world. Well, it's because I'm so filled with testosterone and manliness. Yeah. Jenny would come home drunk and be like, "Where's my bullets?" 
God damn yeah. it. You didn't get the right bullet, so you're <laughs> getting the right fist. Thank God Jenny can't really get boners because she would attack with those things. You, you would, oh, no God. one would be safe. If that, if I would if, be flopping it on the table, I'd be hitting, oh my it, God. hitting people She'd with it. She'd come fast and come hard. And oh happened. my God, I'd come yeah. over and over. I'd come everywhere. Nothing would be safe. Everything would oh. be sticky. Uh, I think it's a dope move. I think that he, you know, he was dropping hints. He was asking her her favorite flowers. He was asking her these things. He was setting up this excitement and it was building for her. You know, when you just, you're looking forward to something. Yeah. And so you're you build edging. it up She's to be something her. it could never be. And then mm. it's just he's piling and piling and then the day comes and she's sitting there and she's so excited and he she's all dressed up you know she spent time on her hair and her makeup and then he comes in and he's like yeah we're gonna go get takeout i changed my mind he's a monster okay. that's yeah. awesome you, you, you know what though i I, I, I did move. hear on a very a good quote move. that i heard on californication with david duchovny was Satisfaction is the death of desire, which once you achieve what you want, you don't desire yeah. anything anymore. So exactly. he's, he's keeping he it spicy. planted that seed inside of her that said, mm -hmm. you will get chocolate dipped strawberries and you will mm -hmm. get whatever else, I a nice restaurant. And then yes. if he gave it to her, she'd be like, oh. I got exactly what I wanted. That's not fun. It's a more a fun point. story. He gave her a story to remember. It, now, it maybe... Me it reminds me of a good quote I know. No, I'm not a good shot, Have but I shoot nice often. Have a nice time and keep it all Bill to Cosby. yourself. Yes. Bill Cosby. It was Master Crosby that said this. And again, boys will be boys. That's also a Bill Cosby quote. Yeah. <laughs> that one's more recent. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> all right. Well, any last words before we, before we snip off? this podcast i, I have and, one last little bit of advice i feel like we're just uh, getting just started like to, i would like to tell uh that woman out there who wrote that question you know just stick with him for a few more years maybe eight or nine maybe ten Could uh, be. because Jeez, he's right. probably waiting until your 10th anniversary to surprise you with those flowers he's gonna remember you know that, so just Hold it out. To piggyback onto that, it does seem to me that if you don't like somebody at first, it you really you re they grow on better. you. It does yeah. seem to me that that's often the case. Is if you you kinda, guys should move in together. Yeah, that's a, that's what I was going to suggest. Get married. Get pregnant. Fuck it. That there's something get to that. Pregnant, that no, get married there's, and move in together. Frankly, have yeah, a family. A, a baby yes. is often the right answer to things like this. Yeah, and that could it be it. Brings interesting. people together. Yeah, that's true. And then I mean, uh, Teddy Roosevelt said people do change. So I think that's another yeah. thing that you should look she forward did. to. Is yeah, exactly, he, exactly. He will change eventually. He also yeah. once said, he boys will. will be boys. Mm -hmm. Just keep just keep building him up in your mind, and when he doesn't yeah. satisfy that, build him up even more. Mm -hmm. And then maybe one day, he'll reach that first expectation that you had of him. Exactly. Yes. Maybe one day, you'll get that chocolate-dipped berry, and mm -hmm. um, it will fulfill those desires. And that chocolate-tipped dick. Yeah. And it will be so, so sweet. So, so good. Mm, so, so good. Sweet. It'll be worth the wait. God. Maybe he's waiting till marriage. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Waiting for marriage to give those chocolate dipped strawberries yeah. and a reservation to oh, a restaurant. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, I didn't know he was waiting till marriage. That changes yeah. all that's of everything. That's respectable, actually. Yeah. yeah. It does say at he the bottom, P.S. He's Catholic. So, <laughs> our bad. <laughs> Practicing strobstinence. Honestly. Doesn't <laughs> <do> <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well we've dipped our chocolate into we've dipped our advice into chocolate and it's so sweet but the bitter part is we have to say goodbye so before we do just wanted to say jenny sam chris thank you guys so much for joining the podcast thank you for no, thank you for having us, us. thank I you for it. having you're us you're great I'm could sorry it, we kept interrupting you. We kept, we were. I, I think I feel like we were, we're terrible guests. We were I don't so think we interrupted loud. often. <laughs> I, we're an interrupty bunch. I'm so sorry that I didn't interrupt you more. Let me cut Chris. you off right there, my friend. <laughs> let me cut you off right there, Chris. And no, say, Chris, Thank Jenny, you. shut up. Let me let of me say course. something. All right, not even turning on the blinker, cutting you all off. Meet me, <laughs> guys. Where can people find you? What have you got going on? What would you like to plug? Let's start with Everywhere. Sam. Um, I feel like our 
Uh, my plug is everyone's plug. We are on a show that we mentioned before, Better uh, Off Better. Teddy Roosevelt said that as well. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we all share one plug in this family. <laughs> yeah, we all share the one plug. Share. Teddy Roosevelt. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. We're on a show called Better Off Better, where we do new yep. things each week. Uh-huh. Chris could explain it way better than, than I ever could. Yeah, that was good. That um, was but good. you can also follow me on you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at SamT03. T spelt as in the drink. T-E-A. Really easy to remember. That's a good username, my friend. <laughs> Thank oh. you. It's Sam T03. And the T stands I... for your last name? Or wait, no, your last name's Caswell, so cool. That's weird. The T is my middle name. No, the T but is for tattoo. Because right. he's got a Thank bunch you. of tattoos. Sam T, but T for tattoo, but it's spelled like T the drink, but don't forget the numbers at the end too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh, you dumb fuck. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'll make a new one. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So I, I mean that was pretty beautiful. Any anything to add, Whipple? Uh, uh shout out uh to our podcast, Better Off Better. Find it anywhere you can find podcasts, find it anywhere you can find anything else. We're on TikTok, we're on Instagram, we're on Netflix. anywhere you search us, better off better, find us. Not Porn Netflix, Hub. you know, we'll get there eventually. Red Definitely Tube. Pornhub. So look up Better it, Off Better. Look up, check out Cinemonic.com. Fran, follow me on Instagram. It's God, Jay Whip. Fran, follow all no, of us on Instagram. Fran, My Instagram is Sam T03. T as in the drink, O3 as in the numbers. I love you. I'm a big Fran fan. And I'd like to catch up a little bit, you know? And old Chrissy's turn. Sorry. Let's Oh, also shout out to Chris's dad. That's my last shout out. What, 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 step seven, what? <laughs> uh, out of all the episodes that, that you guys had at your disposal, you chose Fran. Fucking mm. Fran. Oh, I listen. Oh, no, I want to talk after the show. After the show, a show after the show. Tune in for mm-hmm. um, on Stefan's Patreon, where we were going to be yeah. talking for three dead. hours. We're going to be doing mm-hmm. one of those super chats where you guys can donate and we'll answer dirty yeah. secrets from the industry. Chris um, Hardwick will be there as well. That's right. Yes. Very nice. He hosts. Um, but I, want, I just wanted to throw in a quick little... Uh, a thank you to you, Stefan, you beautiful son of a gun. This was an honor to be on your show uh, and oh. for you to be on ours. I know we already kind of thanked you for that. So enough sucking mm-hmm. bum. OK, but I just want oh, you to know that God. you're a special oh, guy. A and if it's, you need it's to- always sunny here in Arizona, but I feel like I'm getting a drizzle. of <laughs> What's that? It's gratitude. Oh, you're oh. so. Thank you. We're peeing I, right in your pod. We are here to produce drizzle onto you, my friend. Oh we man! Right I, if there's one thing about us and consistency, it's the consistency to which we apply our drizzle. So you just say. I the have word. that quote in my in my bio of my Instagram at Sam T O three T is in the drink. <laughs> three is no in the one. Numbers. No one go to Sam T O three out of protest. So he changes that goddamn name. Fran, I'm looking at you. J Whip four P's. Looking you can at find you, me. Fran. You can Google Chris K. Daniels. You can go to chriskdaniels.com. You can, you can Google look me Jenny up on... Whipple too, okay? Come on. Yeah, but I come up faster. And I Slugging would have to say Google. also you can find me on Instagram. And also uh, Better Off Better is the real, the real gold mine, baby. You know what I'm saying? You find oh, us and you better. find the reason for all of it. It's it's the creme de la comedy. It's just so <laughs> wow. good. I, I really, I really do mean <laughs> that. And I know we'll talk about it on the after show as well. But it is... One of the best podcasts I've listened to. You guys are so wow. talented. You, I feel like you have Stephen. old souls in young Stephen. body, like Jasmine mm. bodies, and no, yeah. not Jasmine, young bodies. young bodies, Raja bodies, Ooh. maybe. There it is. A yeah, I'm a tiger. Such Girl. young <laughs> tight bodies we have. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm putting you on a VHS, and I'm gonna try and impress you uh, with juggling do. And comedy. <laughs> So anyway, well, I appreciate it, guys. Appreciate you. I'm going to have links in the show notes so our, my listeners can follow, watch. I'll include um, links to the all the episodes. My, my favorite episode, the Milk Facials. So you guys the best episode, of course. mind you. If watch. you are going to start on one, episode. join us Definitely with Definitely watch Stefan's episode. Oh, my God. 100%. So good. Videos on You're YouTube. You're going to want right. to grabby hands him the second you hear it. Oh, just like a baby. Just mm-hmm. mm, squeezy, squeezy. <laughs> Full breaky, chub, breaky. squeezy, squeezy. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to declare a winner of this episode because why not? And I'm going to go with Chris. Because he lost 
the episode with the milk facials. So I was going to choose Sam, but I hate tattoos. And so that really. (laughs) Oh my God. You got me nervous there for a sec. My erection went up and hit the desk. It went down a little bit, but now it's even bigger. (laughs) Three inches. It's not very big, but it is bigger. (laughs) It's quality, not quantity. We talked about that. Right. Yep. And the quality is shoddy. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. But anyway, congratulations, Chris. You guys are all winners, to be honest with you. If I. If I'm going to be the dad, I'm not going to be the lame dad. I'm going to be the cool dad that involves you guys. And we're going to get chocolate dipped strawberries right after this. So, Oh, good. good. I know what that yeah, means. Can we also go to a restaurant? Um, It's probably all booked. So I don't probably. know about that. Can you also get me bullets, daddy? Uh, well, if you guys can spot me for the strawberries and then I'll buy dinner. Maybe we can do some Japanese cool. takeout yeah. or something. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Perfect. For sure. All right. Well, Beautiful. listeners, you guys have been such good listeners. Thank you so much. If you've made it this far, <laughs> True. haven't yes. vomited, good. If you You've have vomited, so even better. You're powering through. So good job for you. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and tickle yourselves to all of the comedy content that's in Please. the show notes. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And uh, let's all say bye-bye before. Bye. 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 Love you, Stefan. And those bye. with your bye. listening Love you, right Stefan. You're my favorite on our podcast. Yeah.